start with this movement, you'll want to get into a hip to shoulder width stance to allow the kettlebell to easily move between your legs. Once set up, it's important to remember that this is a hip hinge dominant movement, much like the standard kettlebell swing. For this exercise, however, you'll be switching hands holding the weight when the kettlebell is in the air at roughly shoulder level. Be sure to ground yourself with your feet gripping into the floor and allow your back to stay level and strong throughout the exercise. Repeat in this alternating fashion for the given reps or time.